Welcome back to LabVIEW Basics. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section I want to give you some tips and tricks for finding things you're looking for in LabVIEW. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new VI, and the first one is here on the front panel. If I right click to bring up the controls palette, in the upper right there's a little search button. When I click that, I can type graph, for example, and this will show me a bunch of different places where I can find graphs. So the first one is a folder, um, a sub palette called Graph Silver. So if I click that, I can see all the graphs that are available on the Silver's palette. The nice thing is when you click it, it'll take you to that location. So even if it's not exactly what you're looking for, it usually has similar alternatives there as well. Now you can do this on the block diagram as well. So I'll switch to the block diagram and right click to bring up the functions palette. And again, I have a search box in the upper right. So I'll click that and if I start to type concatenate strings. You can see that it brings up the concatenate strings result. And if I double click it, it shows me where that is on the palette. And now I can see there's a bunch of other string functions here too. So I'm going to close that palette. Now I want to show you quick drop, which is similar to that search, but faster. I'll press control space and that brings up the quick drop window and I can type concatenate to concatenate strings again. And without moving my mouse, I can press enter and it puts the concatenate strings primitive on my cursor. So this is great if you know what you're looking for and just want to get it on your diagram quickly. Um, but I usually go back to the palette search when I'm not sure exactly which function I'm looking for, but just have a general idea of what type of function I'm looking for. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was on both the controls and functions palette, if you pin them down, by default, some of the uh, categories might be hidden. So pin it down and then you'll see this customize button. So you can click that drop down, and you can change the visible palettes. So I've gone through and enabled most of these. Uh, by default, they might not all be enabled. So you can enable or disable them depending on which ones you use regularly. So hopefully those tips and tricks will help you find what you're looking for quickly. In the next section, we're going to talk about debugging our applications. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.